We're joined right now by a running back for San Diego State. He was the Mountain West Player of the Week for Week 1, the Mountain West Player of the Week for Week 2, the Mountain West Player of the Week for Week 3, and the Mountain West Player of the Week for Week 4, the first player in conference history to be named Player of the Week four straight weeks. He rushed for 128 yards and three touchdowns in that win over Air Force on Saturday. He is second in the nation in total rushing yardage, average per game, all-purpose yards, and all-purpose yards per game. Northern Illinois is at number 19, San Diego State. That is Saturday. That game is on CBS Sports Network. Rashad Penny is my guest. Rashad, nice to have you on. How are you? I'm doing good, and you? Rashad, that was a long intro. My man, that was a long... It's good to have you on. That was a long intro. That's quite a resume you have. Let me ask you first about (laughs) the win over Air Force. It was played in terrible conditions, and the fact that that game was delayed for 88 minutes because of lightning in the first half, you guys were trailing, you were on the road, the offense had not really gotten rolling. So what was the mood like in the locker room during that delay? Um, just, uh, just to get everybody back in the right mindset. Um, we were, uh, we're in the first, in that first beginning of the first half, I don't think we're in the right mindset to go out and play a game. Uh, I don't know where we were. But, you know, before every big week, I mean, before a week, we always tell ourselves that it's a new week and we got to come out with a different mindset, but also the same to continue what we've been doing. So I think we're still stuck in the past of beating Stanford, a big team, and uh, we thought it was going to be a rollover game against Air Force. And we know Air Force is a tough, tough opponent. So we, um, we went out there with the mindset of thinking they're probably just going to roll over and give us the win. And that's something that we can't do. We can't get too lax, and um, we we're in the locker room. We're down nine zero, and we said that we can't play like this. We got to pick ourselves up. So that whole time for that delay, we're we're honestly just getting ready to get back out there and play our style of football. So, and we're also trying to stay warm. So <laughs> it was it was a it was a crazy experience, but we came out with the win though. Rashad Penny joining us. That's a really candid response, and you did come out with a win. Now, after that win, as I mentioned, you were named the Mountain West Player of the Week for the fourth time in four weeks. Nobody has ever done that in that conference. What's it mean to you to make history like that? Uh, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I'm grateful for it, but I can't do it without the guys that, that support me and my teammates and my coaches that get me going. So it's just something that, it's just something that, I, that I've been motivated off these guys – uh, pick me up when I seem down or I'm not doing my best. So I give it all to them. They deserve they deserve more than more than I do, and I'm just thankful to be in this situation to get these awards because I can't do anything without the offensive line, and that's the first and that's the first thing. And how young we are, and but I feel like they're so experienced that they help me in the long run to get to get big plays off and help Chapman in the quarterback position to do what he do. And, you know, it's just, I'm just blessed and thankful for them guys. San Diego State running back, Rashad Penny, my guest. Now, you rushed for more than 1,000 yards last season when you shared time with Donnell Pumphrey as he broke the FBS all-time record for rushing yards. The two of you are different runners, so what did you learn from each other while you played alongside each other? Um, definitely just being tough. I mean, I feel like at his height and size, he was the uh, – he probably maybe the toughest back in the nation. Showed a lot of heart. He played. He ran in between tackles. I mean, I don't know any running back that's five eight and weighs at least one seventy and run through a tackle and also run for two thousand yards and break the all time record. So it, he did an amazing job, and I learned a lot just watching him over my time at San Diego State. It wasn't just last year. It was the three years when I got here. I mean, three years in the past that I got here. So I just. I just caught on to a lot of things he's done and try to put him into my game this year. It's kind of hard trying to do some things just like him because he's much smaller than me. So I just try to like put a little bit into my game so I can just to help me out and see what I can do. All right. So in terms of your game, now you've got plenty of speed, but you're a very physical runner and you're not afraid to throw a stiff arm or just to run through a guy, which makes it kind of crazy to think that back in the day, your brother Robert says that you were not exactly looking to run over guys in your early days mm-hmm. in high school. So what was your yeah. approach when you first started playing running back back at Norwalk High School here in SoCal? Well, I never had a I never had a running back coach. I just I lined up in a double wing in a three point stands in motion. You know, that was my whole high school career. And I never blocked a guy before, so it was something it was something new when I got here to San Diego. And it's something that I had to adapt to 
But, I mean, I felt like once I started adapting and once I felt that I had a running back, I got a connection with Coach Ford. And my connection has grown stronger with him because now I'm, I I can do the things that, like, do the things that regular running backs do, and that's block and read a, read a uh, hole and just do all the small things to be a good running back in the system. So, yeah, when I was at Norwalk, I really didn't have the – I really didn't have that like running back coach, but my head coach, it was just, it was really just my head coach and two other coaches. So it was, uh, I came from a small school, so we really didn't have all that. So I just lined up in a double wing in motion. So it was, it was tough to learn a real running back position at that time, but I'm glad I got here because I feel like this was a running back school because of what they do, what they do with the eye formation and they have two running back split time. So it's, it's just something that, I, it's something that I'm excited that I picked. Rashad Penny joining us. You know what you need? You need somebody not only to teach you the position, but somebody to, somebody to believe in you and that you can play that position. As an example, <laughs> you scored 103 touchdowns in Norwalk High, and there was interest from Pac-10 or Pac-12 schools, but not all of them wanted you to be a running back. San Diego State, on the other hand, offered you a scholarship when you were still in high school as a sophomore, mm-hmm. which is not something mm-hmm. that offensive coordinator Jeff Horton likes to do, but he thought you were a no-brainer. So what did it mean for him to offer to you, and what's it been like playing at San Diego State? Uh, I was definitely blessed. I felt like I was already ready to choose San Diego State, but it was just too early. I really, I'll be telling you, I really wasn't focused on any other school because I was, I was uh I was like homesick and I didn't want to go away from home, definitely from my mom, so I felt San Diego State was closer. But then um I got the connection with San Diego State and I just started loving it here. And I just started believing the program and once I believed the program that's when great things started to happen. Um we won back to back championships, won back to back bowl games and just been in um been in great situations. But uh it means a lot coming to this program, and these coaches, uh, they just don't want success for you on the field. They want it off, and I think that's the main thing that I'm, I love about this school, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's a great deal here, and it's a great program. So, I mean, if you want to run the ball, I mean, this is probably the best offense <laughs> to do it in. It, that's the place to be. And one last thought. You're doing it in San Diego, which, of course, lost the Chargers after last season. So is there any part of you that felt like, as a team, you could rally that city by balling out the way you guys have so far? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Once when the Chargers left, I uh, tweeted that it's don't, don't, need, don't need to worry. The Aztecs are still in town because I felt like over the years when we were winning and the Chargers were losing, I felt like we were – we want we were that winning tradition that San Diego wanted, and we just want to we just want to show the city that you know it wasn't just the Chargers team. I know they're a professional team; they're going to get more fans because of their history in San Diego. But you know what we do for this city? I mean, we're winning for this city to, to prove to people that you know it, it just wasn't them. I mean, we bring back Mountain, back-to-back Mountain West champions that win back-to-back bowl games against a lot of great teams, and. With this year's schedule, we we wanted to show the fans that we were up for the challenge to play against anybody, to show that you know we are that team that's going to take that next step to take over San Diego and rally the city together. So we we wanted to do that, and I I think we proved to a lot of people, but we're still not done yet because I don't think we peaked as a team to get where we are. Um, we still make minor issues, and that's something special about this team. We we make mistakes. But I don't think anybody has seen our best complete game yet. I'm not even calling Stanford our complete game because I think the defense played a complete game. But the offense, we, we still got a lot to pick up. But we're, we're on the right track because we're winning. So, I mean, we, we just it's just so much that people can see out of us. And once when we start playing that complete game, I think, I think we'll probably be a team that's unstoppable. You certainly are on the right track. Nationally ranked number 19 right now and at home on Saturday against Northern Illinois. Once again, that San Diego State-Northern Illinois game is on CBS Sports Network at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Rashad Penny, running back for San Diego State, my guest. Rashad, great to have you on. Nice, nice interview. Well done, and it's good to talk to you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good job, Rashad. Well done. Really well done. It's a good, good college interview.